This has to do with rust. And rust, I'm not going to rust up the whole orc battle wagon. Uh, though you can you just see there's a lot of silvering uh, where scuffs and the paint's been chipped off. But what I want to talk about here is how to do rust. Because one of the things that's uh, very likely to get rusted up <clears throat> simply because there's you're not going to put a lot of paint on the the, uh, the piece is the exhaust system. So here in this particular case, <clears throat> you're going to have this muffler kind of a thing, and that will still get hot. This mounting bracket will get hot, but it'll probably hold on to the, uh, its paint a little better if there is paint. Um, but the actual pipe itself in these areas, and especially on the tip, are going to be extremely uh, susceptible to weathering, rusting. <clears throat> because that heating and cooling is going to allow any moisture to really get at the any ferrous uh, metals in there. So, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to weather. Uh, or rust up a, a model or exhaust pipe in this case, but it applies to any to any uh, larger rust area you're going to apply to. And I'm going to use it with two colors. Okay, um, so let's take a look real quick closely at uh, this this photo, in which you'll see the exhaust system. You'll see that the exhaust pipes themselves are not the color of the tank. They're actually uh, rust. So let's take a look. Okay, so how do we go about doing this? Two colors. You're going to start with a base color, and then you're going to do a, uh, I don't want to call it a dry brush because you're not really going to, you're going to wet brush it, but it's, uh, I guess a layer is the best way to put it. So I'm going to start with, now these are Delta, okay, Delta Iron Oxide Brown. Uh, this is a very old bottle, but still it's very good. And it's supposed to be a dark um, reddish brown, okay. Uh, again, it's iron oxide brown. If you've seen old rust, you know how red, dark reddish brown it is. The next step, though, the key is to is to use a ochre of some sort. So this is actually Delta's Spice Tan. The uh, label's kind of getting worn a bit, but it's a new bottle, but it's still getting worn off. It's Spice Tan. It's almost a yellow ochre. It's a little darker than that, and that is going to be <clears throat> the uh, represent some more of the. I could, uh, lighter rust and, in essence, some of the sulfurous uh, metals that are kind of getting a little bit corroded too. That combination is going to be really, uh, in my opinion, uh, stunning. It's going to set your model apart. So, let's go ahead and get started. Very, very simple. Uh, just, yeah, like I said, since it's so quick, I'll just go ahead and do it right here live. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set the camera up so that you'll be able to see all the work in progress here and then in the other. All right, so here we are. We're all set. I've gotten the cap off of the uh, brown, the iron oxide brown, and just take, just brush it on. I mean, it's, you know, it doesn't require any special skill here, but you want to coat, uh, just base coat your pipe. And again, now this is, it is based in a metal, because you do actually want to have a metallic undertone where your rust colors aren't really thick, okay? That actually really helps uh, establish the illusion very, very well. So again, but I'm going to leave these silver sleeves alone because I figure the heat transfer between the pipe, the exhaust pipe, and those is a little less intense. And as a result, it probably won't rust up the same. Uh, it'll also show a good contrast. And I can always go back and, and weather that up as well. Let me go ahead and zoom this in a little bit tighter. Wrong direction. There we go. All right. I hope you guys, uh, you know, approve of, if you will, of the uh, the video technique here. This is definitely something new to me. But I want to try to give you an idea of how to go about doing these things. Okay. That's really all there is to that first base. I mean, it's really simple. I'm not going to do the rest of the um, thing, but you'll notice in the back here, um, even before I did, I mean, I did that same color on the back uh, 
exhaust pipe up to here. So anyway, all right. Okay, we'll let that dry. Oh, I did forget a spot. This one's a very important spot. The very top is you have to do this one because you definitely want to avoid any or as much of the uh, silver as you can. And I should have, had I thought about it earlier, I would have actually drilled out whoops, sorry, the center of this, but I didn't. So, whoop. The wheels are, uh, I purposely leave them uh, loose. That way, if the, if the vehicle is immobilized, all I need to do is, oh, losing the, uh, there we go. Uh, if the vehicle is mobilized, I remove a wheel, and then it's easy to see. Oh yeah, that vehicle's not going anywhere. Okay. All right. Yep, so there we go. <laughs> Alrighty. All right, so. There we go. So we'll let that dry. Be back just a minute after that has dried sufficiently for the next step. All right, now I take my spice tan. All right, and this in this particular case, uh, you can use the same brush. You don't need to use a different one. Um, but what you're going to have to do here is you have to make sure as you can see I've done it before. Um, you want to get most of the paint off. This is not a dry brush technique, so make sure you got enough on it that you're still able to apply uh, the coat, and then. You start picking up, it, this actually, this paper becomes a palette, and you just start pulling it down. Uh, streak it. Don't, you don't have to be uh, nice and even with it. You're just pulling it down and streaking it up here. Okay. Now, the paint will dry because you've wiped it off the... Um, brush onto the your paper or your card or whatever so you're gonna have to reload the paper and the brush a few times to get this right but uh, definitely build it up in layers don't do it too much at once Let's see if I can get the color to be true in this there we go Same thing up here at the top. You can see it, it looks really yellow on my video screen, but trust me, it's not really yellow. It's. There you go. What I'm doing is. Yeah, well, that is coming up really yellow. Uh, it's not quite that yellow in real life. Here, I'll pull it further away. And I will help make it look better. Yeah, there. It's more sulfurous as a metal. Okay, and then again, just at the tip. Now this, you don't have to be really heavy here, but you are going to have to put some on there because the key is this part of the exhaust system is actually going to be covered with one more uh, technique. Get some soot on there. Okay, there it is. Okay. All right. So, there you have it. I'm going to back this out a bit. And then that'll stop being as gray as, as yellow. Well, it is still yellow, but there. Okay. All right. Okay. And then clean the brush off. All right. So the goal now that you've got this, you've got a blended uh, color on your uh, exhaust system. So it's a streaked, it appears again vertical streaking so it looks like you know, the rain's been doing a number on it. The next step, <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and show you this one. Uh, now what we're going to do is use a slightly different technique on the, the surface, uh, or the, sorry, the end of the exhaust to represent the soot that's coming out. Alright, so what we're going to do to put the soot effect on the end is we're actually going to use uh, pastel chalks again. Uh, 
you can airbrush it, but you know, that's such a small piece to airbrush. Dry brushing, yeah, you can do that too, but uh, I don't know, there's just, it's a personal preference. Any, you can dry brush, airbrush, or use chucks. <clears throat> I'm going to use chucks. And so what I'm going to do here, uh, much like I use in most of my chalk work, <clears throat> is I'm actually take the chalk and just run it on the actual uh, exhaust. Okay. There we go. So let's see here. See that? Now we'll go ahead and go in a little bit tighter here. There we go. Okay. Now, again, using a stiff brush, as I mentioned in my uh, weathering chalk video, you're going to run this left and right and make sure this is really well uh, covered. Oops, I got out of the way here. Okay. And you can see I left the spot here, so there you go, and then. By just brushing it around, you work it into the the flat, okay. And then, if you want to get uh, go crazy with it, you can actually start just get the uh, end here. You know, where it might blow back on the okay. And then again, just it's not a heavy. I'm not applying it heavily here. I could, but I'm not trying to go for that right now. I'm just trying to go, um, just to get it a little dar darker, a little blacker. Okay, so I, so that there's exhaust has gone back on it. All right. <clears throat> okay. So that's all it takes. Literally, that's that's it. So that's how you you do a very simple uh, exhaust system. So two colors of the uh, reddish dark brown with a ochre, they have a, a yellow tan.